Hey, what's going on? You see, Fox is my name, is Jack, and welcome back to The Hunter All of the Wild. Where, if you guys have not realized, or I don't know how you guys would be able to realize, because I mean, I, I, I don't see much of a difference, but we are no longer on an epic, the Epic Games claimed version of the game. I actually finally bought the game on Steam. That's right, guys. So that means I finally. I'm able to buy DLC because I'm um, like like I said I did not want to be buying any kind of DLC before I bought the game on Steam and now I have and now I've got a few few fun little toys to be working with what those toys are well then you guys will just have to stick around to find out but anyways guys before we get started with the video I just want to quickly really ask you guys if you guys do enjoy this episode or enjoy this series then please consider hitting that like button down below it t helps me out a ton and it tells me you guys actually want to continue on seeing the this as much as possible and also just hit that subscribe button if you if you want to support me it really does mean a lot a lot to me i want to try to get get to 1000 subscribers before the end of the year so please guys help me out it will help help out a ton and also remember to hit that that notification bell to so you'll be notified whenever my next video comes out so if you guys remember what happened in the previous episodes yes i did actually play this game a lot off camera so i can actually get back to the point we were in the previous episode so if you guys remember what happened in the previous episode we actually managed to get get ourselves to the point where we had to unlock the mission where we have to go all the way up to here to the petition's cornfields because apparently there's a bunch of phalo deer deer in the area that is currently just loving to eat the cornfield and um, Yolanda or whatever her name is is supposed to be taking care of it, but she's currently still working on her book So the park ranger has asked us to actually go there now The problem is, is that it's quite a distance away. I mean look this is a close outpost I've got and we still need to go all this way around in order to get to over to the patient's cornfield So that's quite a long track and I don't know. I, I I hate walking. I really do hate walking, but you know what? Nothing they can do about that. Oh Hold on, I, I, I think somebody's calling me. Uh, hello? Uh, who is this? Oi, I hear you. You're looking for something to help you not walk. Uh, well, that's kind of very specific, and how did you hear, hear about that? Never mind that. Just listen up. I got a little bit of a deal for you. You see, I got these 4x4 four four, four wheelers that I need to be tested out, and I need to actually need you to make an ad about it. If you do that, I'll, pro I'll give you one for free. Oh, well, really? Well, uh, okay, but what's the catch? Like I said, all you need to do is just review the, the product, Give me an ad that I can then post out onto the internet. Then it'll all just seem real sweet and smooth like coming in. Uh, what was that about money? Oh, nothing. You don't need to worry about that. So, are you in? Um, so let me get this straight. You want me to review your product. You want me to then make an ad for you, send it to you, and then you just give me a 4x4 wheeler for free? Well, that basically sums it up. But yeah. Alright, sure. Ditto. So how exactly do I get the, the 4x4 wheel wheeler? Oh, it's already behind you. Wait, what? What? You... How, how did you get it? No, oh, don't worry. We don't talk about those details. Okay, I'll, I'll be waiting for your report a little bit later on. Okay, cheers. Wait, what? Oh, hello? Hello? Uh, the guy just hang up on me. Okay, so, um, yeah. It, it appears we got ourselves a 4x4 four four, a four, four, four by four wheeler that we are supposed to be testing out. So yeah, guys, if you guys haven't not noticed, I actually bought, like I said, I bought, bought, a, bought a bunch of DLC. And, of course... The comment in the previous episode that told me that you can actually get 4x4 wheelers, definitely a big help. This was definitely the, the first one I went to. So, of course, we're going to hop on to here so we can go into here and, ooh, we got a bunch of things here. So, let, so like, like the guy, guy I, said, I, said, I said over the phone, I don't think I actually got his name now that I think about it. I'm going to have to ask, ask him a little bit later on about, about that. So, looks like we got the controls on the left side and we're going to be giving it, it a try now. Oh, we can toggle viewpoints. Okay, so we can toggle between third and first person. Oh my goodness, this this thing runs! Ooh. Oh wow, look at this! We're already we're already to up to 50 kilometers an hour. Oh I I am loving this! It's so smooth! I'm definitely not gonna be able to catch anything with how much noise this thing is making, but oh my goodness, I am moving so quickly! Look at this! I'm loving this thing already and oh wow! Yeah, I, I know there's, a, there's already a warning call, but you are not my target for today. We are going to be heading over to the Patterson's Cornfield with the 4x4 wheel. Oh, man. Lo just, mmm. I love this thing so far. I, I mean, I haven't exactly ridden it all that much. But so far, I'm very impressed with what I got. I know we can, we can go above 8 kilometers an hour is the highest. 
But so far, we're just going at, we're cruising at 60 kilometers an hour, and I'm happy with that. So yeah, it's, it seems it's a kind of very extremely weird, weird for us to have to, you know, actually make our, make an ad for this 4x4 wheel, and then we get to keep this thing. I mean, I could, I could just keep it. I could just keep it and not give him anything, but you know what? No, that, that's not who I am. I, I like to work for myself. And oh my... Something definitely hit me in the middle of the road. Who knew that getting yourselves a 4x4 wheeler would just make a, you cruising acro across the area? Oh, it, it, it's just wonderful. We're obviously going to gonna first um, make a stop by the outpost. Obviously, because I do want, want to actually fill in some of the map before we head on over to Parisons Cornfield. And who knows, maybe we'll be able to find ourselves another outpost that's a little bit closer to the corn, cornfield along with it. This is going to make finding the outpost so much easier. And, all, and also um, the lookout point, point as well. This is going to make traveling in general so much easier for me. I'll be able to fill in the map so much quicker because of this. I just won't, won't be able to hunt as efficiently with it. Oh my goodness! My goodness, is there a lot of tracks here. Fatal gear. It's a rest zone. No wonder they're, so, they're here in so, such a great abundance. It's because this is a rest zone. Could just stop at no no no! Don't get sidetracked. You are heading to the lookout point, and then you're gonna be heading over to Parisons Cornfield directly after that. We can we can head on over here. That's not what I'm looking for. That. Oh great! Okay, there we go. I can get on. Thank goodness. Okay, let let's be off now. Okay, we can definitely use that as a hunt, as a reference to be able to hunt in the future. But right now, like I said, our our goal right now is to head on over to the lookout point. Get the out, get a possible outpost, and then head on over to the Paris's corner field, so we can then face those phalo deer. I want to have my rev. I accidentally hit spacebar. Like I said, I want to have my revenge after the previous episode. Oh my goodness! If you guys have saw seen that episode, which I highly doubt most of you did, because I mean that video did kind of terrible, and, and with a title like "The Curse of the Phalo Deer," I I don't blame you guys. But that episode did so badly. But also, the thing is that in that episode, I struggled my entire episode just to hunt one single phalo deer. Yeah, now I wasn't, wasn't really all that fun. And now I want to have my revenge by going to the Pearson's Court Fields and then be able to get myself and myself my revenge in order to be taken on those phalo deer. Because I want to get myself a few, few phalo deer because I definitely need to hunt them, seeing as that's what is required of, of this um, mission. Let, let me just quickly head on into the mission log. How many... I need to harvest two failed deer in the Patterson's cornfield. So it's not going to be too much. Not going to be too difficult, hopefully. But we're going to see how things turn, turn out once we get there. Yeah, I'm not seeing any kind of outpost. The lookout point has, has been collected. And then there's a bunch of these points over here. I'm possibly going to need to try and get these um these points of interest in between episodes. Because I don't see, see any point of trying to do that right now. Although it looks like there is another lookout point right over here, we could possibly fi find ourselves another um, outpost if we head on over to here. Although it looks like it's a little bit of a twisty road in order to get there. Although not that much, I just need to head down over here, take, make a left here, keep straight, keep on straight until I get to here, make a left, make a left here, and then I just need to travel all the way to up to here. And then I should be able to go to the Spreeberg Eastern lookout point, which I will then be able to just... Hopefully from there be able to get and we'll be able to find an outpost. That's a little bit closer to the Pi Peterson's um, cornfield. Oh no, I gotta say, so far the four we learn is doing this job pretty well. That's a little bit twitchy on the spacebar and by that I mean the dismount. I mean just one single tap and it just goes off into the distance. I should not have done that. Acceleration is pretty good. I mean we're, we managed to get, get up to 60 kilometers an, per hour in not, not too um, few of a time. I gotta say, oh my god! How? How? How is it that I'm the one who gets injured whenever I hit a deer? Okay, it does definitely get losing a few points there. Because it's not offering much protection against the wildlife. Although, I, it is kind of to be expected. I mean, I'm not protected like I'm in a car. But so, but so far, I'm liking the four-wheeler pretty, pretty good. I Oh yeah, this is the part where we got uh, last time when we were hunting that fellow deer, which... Kind of is redundant now. Now that I think about it, because I actually restarted um, my, all my progress. But well, anyway, back to the four wheel. 
wheeler four wheeler pretty good so far this acceleration is good stop and power very good you get get to the zero, zero kilometers an hour in a very quick succession of time and handling is pretty well i got i gotta say it's very responsive i haven't haven't had any trouble with the turning so far and whenever you you stop it's just a quick matter of just getting off as soon as, soon as that it isn't any you glitching or clipping out so so far the four wheeler is looking pretty good i got i gotta say i like like it and i got it got in the red red color which is one of my favorite colors although i would like to have it in the blue color got it gotta stick with my central theme of the of the blue fox you know where we can go. all right here we are i'll keep that in mind so this is the corn field Good to hear. I do not have an antler ramp though that I think about it. I didn't actually buy it again. Okay, yeah, but I'm pretty sure I'm, none of them are gonna be coming up, especially now now that I'm going all the way through like this on a four wheeler. I'm pretty sure I'm just chasing everybody away. But trust me, as soon as I get the get the outpost, it's gonna be all worth it. Wait a second. I know this place. We're back here again. I didn't get this after I restart the restarted my progress. Huh. No wonder I did no wonder I didn't know that there wasn't an a lookout point here. It seemed like the the op outpost is gonna be down here because right now I'm not seeing much of an, an outpost in any other regions. It does look like the like this game is currently sticking to one outpost per area, which does kind of kind of mean that this is the this is the outpost that we got. That didn't help. You know what? I'm gonna be fast traveling back back to the outpost. I'm gonna try and rest up, making it a little little making it daytime, and then from there I'm hope I hopefully have enough money in order to get a antler rattler. So then from there I can then start rattling in the um cornfield so I can then get myself some phalo deer. Hopefully. Oh, I'll have to wait and see if that's going to work or not. Oh, wonderful morning. Not a sunny morning, but still wonderful nonetheless. I am 200 sure. I just used to... Oh, my goodness. I had the perfect amount, and then I decided to sleep. <laughs> Guess that means I'm going to have to be um hunting the old-fashioned way. I'm still going to need to be getting my, myself my uh, four-wheeler. So we got we got ourselves the crimson one last time here, but let's try and get ourselves a different one. Let's go for the J one. Request has been sent through, and there it is. Okay, I still want my blue one though. I need my blue one. This thing is not very good when you're off road that much. I can tell you. I thought the entire point of a quad bike was that you could actually handle the thing pretty well off road. So far, it doesn't seem like that's the case. Or not not when it comes to roads like this one anyway. Wait, there's an outpost. Okay, I don't know why I didn't see the outpost before, but now we got we got our target. We got our target. 1.87 kilometers. Luckily, it won't be taking us that long as opposed to the walking, because we got ourselves a four x four wheeler. So we'll be able to just punch the punch the gas, go over to 60 kilometers an hour. Although currently I'm struggling to get over 50, and then we're gonna be hitting over there in no time. And from there, we're gonna be we're gonna be well equipped. And be well positioned to be able to go from there to be able to take on the phalo deer. All right, we're at the outpost and okay, we did stop. Okay, good. So now we get to claim the outpost. Outpost, our log fast travel and facilities are now available. And now that we should should be able to gear up as much as we we want, and then just head on over from here into the Peterson's Court cornfield to be able to start hunting the phalo deer. Okay, but first things first, <laughs> do I do kind of need. I think I need to actually try and get get some rest, but right now I don't think that's gonna be any time for that. You know, it's kind of one thing that I'm kind of always wondering. How did, didn't it say at one point that you can do some kind of challenges? Because I haven't managed to figure out on how to do that. I'll possibly try and do that, that off camera, but right now let's quickly just head on into here, and then we're gonna head on over to the Peterson's Cornfield. Actually, let's leave the four wheeler. As much as I love the four wheeler, it's amazing. It's way too loud. It's not gonna make it to where I can sneak up on, on my target. I need to make sure that I go go there on foot. So now comes the real fun part, the little breezy part of just relaxing and doing some good hunting. 
Of course, I'm still gonna need to hunt those two fellow deer because uh, it is it is part of the quest. I need to, uh, the job, if I can say. Because if I want to be paid, I need to make sure I get my, myself those two fellow deer. And I did do, do some um, shooting in between episodes at the shooting range, so I do think my aim is just a little bit better. Or I hope so. I didn't exa exactly do it recently because, I mean, I, I was kind of busy, okay? Look, I, I got a lot of things going on in my, my personal life. I don't know why I'm trying to defend myself. I don't need to defend my, myself, Husky Gad. You guys are here, here to enjoy me. Enjoy watching me just hunting. Enjoy wa watching me just mess up and just be funny. Or I hope you're here for the humor. If you're, if you're here, if you're to make fun of me. Then um, I don't know if I'm happy about that or not. Miss Park Ranger said that th that these cornfields are supposed to be having failed deer. But so far in this area, I've only been finding tracks about red deer. I'm beginning to wonder if she knows the difference. Uh, what am I talking about? Of course she knows the difference. But I'm beginning to think that, that maybe these aren't the cornfields that she was talking about, and I just extended the area way too much. Right over there! That looks like a cornfield! And that looks like Phalo Deer. I won't be able to hit him from, from this distance with, with, uh, with the bow. I need to get, get closer. The rifle would be a lot easier to be used, because the rifle can actually re reach on greater distances. But the bow uses a lot more skill in order to be used. That's possibly why I'm struggling so much because I'm 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 possibly not at the skill level where I can use the bow yet. But at the same time, I just love using the bow. It's one. It's my favorite weapon. Okay, you can't take that away from me. Okay, we got ourselves a knee zone. The depth. So we may not be able to get the failed deer, but we'll be able to get the knee zone, so we can then from there determine when they are going to be here. And from that, we'll be able to decide when we need to need to be here ourselves in order to actually get, in order to be hunting them. Oh, great, they saw me! <gasps> what? Huh? What? What just? I just. Okay, there's another one, but I don't have an arrow knocked. Oh my! I hit her in the neck. Okay. Uh. Well, I mean, it's not what I, what I was hoping for. I was hoping I maybe got her at the heart, but I'm so glad about that. Okay. Except you that. You got one. Great. Don't forget to harvest it. Then on to another. Okay. So now eating from 6 till 10 currently it is 8 30. okay so that definitely tells me that we got that now we should be able to hunt these guys whenever we need to and this is the walk of the failed deer but let's see if we can actually find the mail here's the mail okay so we just need to go after him right through here okay the first thing is i'm just gonna grab this over here and then we'll be able to go after him from here, from there Second one. I missed. Got her. Okay. And she fell down. <laughs> okay. Man. Hunting the females is so much easier than the males. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm just glad that that mission is done. Right? Right? Except. This should calm his nerves. I freaking hope so. Well, and it now seems that... someone is making new friends. I just had a chat with Robert Zomer, and he was very pleased with how you took care of the fallow deer in his cornfield. Oh, I'm glad to hear. Two thousand five hundred cash. He's a real enthusiast of special equipment hunting. What? Bow hunting is one of his passions. Okay. As a thank you for your work, he wants to invite you to partake in his favorite pastime. He's challenging you to hunt a red fox using a bow. I think it's some kind of rite of passage. I will happily do that. <laughs> okay, well look at that. $10,000. You know what? I'm going to accept that. I'm going to be hunting myself a fox. 
Wait, harvest the fog down with a 60 pound bow in Spreeberg. I mean, I got my bow is currently 70 pounds. No, wait, it's 60 pounds. Yeah, never mind. So I do have the right bow for it. Okay, that is good. So now I just. So now I got all of the money. I know that over here, this is possibly gonna be a place I can go. You know, in, in, in order to hunt a bunch of failed deer. So I can I can then try and build the outpost up here, have an overlook over here of the cornfields, and then from there, then I'll be able to actually, you know, just uh, hunt. <laughs> Hi there. Yerlinda sends her regards for your help with the fallow deer. Well, I'm glad to hear that. She was wondering if you could help out with another photo for her book. It seems you did a great job with the last one. This time, she wants a picture of a fallow deer with Königsberg Lake in the background. Uh, I'd recommend southeastern Kitesheim for it. The vistas are great, and you often see fallow deer around there. So now you're asking me to take another picture as well. Okay, okay not not as well because I mean I won't be able able to hunt it as well. But I was hoping this was would be like a kind of tower, but it isn't. I can only look over this cornfield over here. But the need zone is right over there. Why couldn't the need zone be over there? Okay, so that was kind of a waste of money. Now, now I'm, I'm looking at it. But now that's been done, and... Oh, Sp Spreeberg. Yeah, uh, just one last second. Um, Z Zomer harvests one down on down fox with a 60-pound bow. So I already got, got the bow for that. But first things first, we're going to head on over, over to the outpost like this. And then we're going to try and then... Then grab ourselves our, our four-wheeler. We're going to head on over into the Spreeberg area, get the lookout points, try and get, get an outpost, and then from there, we're going to be, be able to plan our attack. All right, we've, we've used the red four-wheeler. We've used the, the jade one. Let's try and use the charcoal one. All, I know all of them is the same, same but so far, I, I haven't used all the colors. So as you guys can see, with the, the DLC, you managed to get yourselves three different four-wheelers, which is great. But, like I said, I still want my blue one! I am off to hunt myself a red fox Using my strong 60 pound bow All I want to do is hunt a little fox Even though I am a fox myself, I know and Then I'll be able to get what I need Thanks for, for the tip, Gerlinda. Uh, that, that is your name, right? Zomel is well known in the hunting community, and he's made more than a few friends in the outfitting sector. They often ask Connie, him that's your name. Products to endorse them, so you'll always see him with some new gadget. Well, that's good to hear. I mean, if he's going to be giving me the hunting equipment for bows, I'm definitely gonna gonna be wanting to stick around around with him for quite some time, especially because I use a bow myself. Okay, we're coming up on the part where we where we need to take a right and take a right again. Wait. Oh my goodness! Look at that. Look at that. That's a castle. That's a castle if I've ever seen one. Oh my goodness! That looks amazing. Okay, I'm gonna gonna try and just take a beautiful picture. Right there. Oh, that looks amazing. Mwah. Beautiful. Gonna be, I think that, that's gonna work out perfectly for for the um ad I need to be making all later for the, for the guy who's get, giving me this four wheeler. Still don't know his name though, because we, we still need to talk to him about that. Are we gonna gonna go through the castle? We're gonna go through the castle. Ooh, what is this? Spec. Spreeberg Castle is possibly the reserve's most famous land park. Situated on the eastern side of Spreeberg Lake at the center of the reserve, the castle w was the seat of the lures of Co Konisberg. It appears to be the first mentioned in sources indirectly beginning in 1225. Could you imagine? People actually living here? Im imagine this place being a marketplace. People ru running to and fro, being able to try and get their groceries, heading home for the day, day to their kids and their wives. Oh, wow. And look at this. You get to survey this as well. That's a beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh, wow. 
I mean, the rain kind of ruins it, but still, it looks very beautiful. Okay, now that's been done. We, we have the entire er areas um, put into this perspective. And now, we got here the outpost that we're going to be heading towards. Okay, so this is it. We need to head back to where, where my four-wheeler is, and then we can go from there. This four-wheeler is making traveling so much easier. I, I, I'm, I'm starting to see what I kind of missed out on. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm glad I finally, I finally bought, bought this game on Steam and got myself the DLC. Yes, I could have gotten the DLC on Epic Games. Yes, it would have been a lot cheaper for me. But, Steam achievements. I'm a, I'm a big Steam achievements guy, okay? I, I like to have my Steam achievements. Then we take it right over here. Right into, into the outpost. Right over here. Okay. Now that now we'll be able to claim this outpost, like so. Okay, outpost unlocked. Everything that we need is placed where it should be. So, I got myself the bright side. Rangefinder bow sight. What? This side helps hunters overcome the biggest challenge when bow hunting. Distance estimation. When, when you press... With the press of, of a button R, the bright side rangefinder bow side, side sir, um, calculates the distance of the target and projects a precise virtual LED pin that is only visible to the archer without the clutter of multiple physical pins. I I, I think I'm gonna try and use the bright bright side rangefinder. Let's buy it. Okay, there we go. We, now we we own the bright bright side rangefinder bow set. So that's gonna be helping me out. And right now these no th these arrows are gonna be gonna be good to be able to hunt foxes with. So I don't need to worry about, about that. Uh, let's just go into here. Colors in a sense. Wait. All right. So I think I pretty much have, have everything I'm possibly going to need. I just need to quickly head into uh, storage and then try and, and bring over this, this site. So bring over the site to here. There we go. And now we just need, need to equip, equip the site. So just quickly head into my inventory, the sites, and then here we go. Head to here and equip it. There we go. Okay. Now with this. 37 meters, 23 meters, 11, far, oh, yeah, that's a little bit too far, okay, so it, it actually makes it to where I just need to line up the dot to, to the um, actual animal, and then I'll be able to hunt from there, okay, that's kind of cool, I do kind of like that, that that's, that's, a, that's very cool, I do want to try and use, like, the free pin sites when I unlock them, okay, so this is the part, part where 4x4, four four, Wheeler, as much as I love you, love you, bud, I really do. I, I I can't go on without with you. Okay, so once I've got I've gotten the red fox, we we, we test out this site, and then I think that's gonna be a good place to end the episode. So we're gonna see how things go from there. Go now. I do believe now would be a good time for me to test out the bow. <gasps> I got him! I actually got him! What? Okay. Okay. Uh. I. <laughs> oh. What? Just, just like that. Just like that. Like that. I had. I, I possibly didn't. They didn't get a vital organ. Yeah. No organs hit. Just, just now. Okay. I'm... <laughs> okay. But I managed to get him at least. What? The, that site is so broken. It's. Oh. But the lead, lead rate is extremely low. Okay. So that, this is gonna take some time in order to get him. There it is! Oh my... This thing is broken! I just looked at it and I just pressed R and it just gave me what I needed! Oh. Yeah, uh, I kind of missed it a little. <laughs> that, that, what? I, I, how? How is it just by hitting it in the ear do you go down? I would survive that if I were, if I were you. Just how? How, how, my guy? L like, how? <laughs> but you know what? I'm gonna, ex I'm gonna take that. Give me that 488 cash and give me the level up. Okay, so now we got ourselves a perk point that we get to spend. Oh my goodness. And now with that, I'm going to make this increase the time and error can be drawn in the aim mode. That's going to help me a lot. Because I just kind of realized while I'm using the, um, you know, you know the, tra the tracker thing. And I, the problem is with it is that um, when you have your, your bow drawn like uh, this... You actually use stamina for it, so this is actually going to make it to where I'll be able to keep it drawn for a lot longer. Even now, you can, you can see that it's wobbling a little bit around. I probably should, should have um, done this experiment uh, before I did. There you go. You see it in the bottom right? See how my heart is beginning to um just keep rapidly beating? It's because of this that I keep that I have the um, bow drawn, and that's actually pretty accurate to real life. I cannot keep my, my bow drawn 
for an extended period of time. The thing is that when it comes to a compound bow like this, you just need to pull it to a certain point and then you can keep it there a lot easier. If, we're, if it were a recurve bow or a long bow, you actually have to keep that entire amount of force drawn in your arms. With this, it brings you to a certain point and then it's a lot easier to keep it there. So I do kind of really li like that that um, little bit of um, accuracy that they brought, brought in. But now with, with that, with the money that I managed to get from there, it means I'll be able to get myself some of, other um, arrows. I do rem remember there being tracker arrows though, so I'm possibly gonna gonna try and switch over to the tracker to the um tracker arrows after this. I'm not gonna use the arrows that I haven't unlocked yet or the, the tracker variations of them them anyway because I don't feel like I've earned it yet so i'm not gonna start use, using those yet i'll use them in in the future as soon as i'll lock them but for now that's not gonna happen now we just need to try and find ourselves so it's that pesky little fox there they are all right i found myself the red fox just right over there so peaceful I would, it, it would be a shame if somebody came and completely woke you up only for you to fall into eternal slumber. Yeah, that kind of, kind of sounds mean, but that, that is basically what's going to happen. Because I do need to hunt you, okay? I need the, I need the money. I need the money. I'm, I'm starting to sound like a poacher now I think about it. But luckily, I'm doing this legally, so I'm not poaching anything. Uh, did it work? Did I miss? Did I accidentally miss? I missed the bastard! Well, it, it can't be a bastard because it's a female, but... Ah! Frick, I die! Okay, uh, back, back, to, back to the old chasing after the game. I should have gotten closer! I can't find... I wonder I can't find the rest of the tracks. Because she'd be right, she'd be right there. No wonder I couldn't find you. You were hiding in plain sight. But you're hiding. Didn't work out so well, did it now, eh? Confirm trophy. In the lung. Gotcha. You sweet, sweet little boy. <laughs> I got you. I got you. They're sweet. I, I prefer blue foxes, me, me personally. Uh, you know, because I am one myself. But you know what? <laughs> uh, this one's still, still beautiful, still pretty. We're gonna accept it. So with that being said, I just kind of realized, Zomer, however, there's one fox down with a six. Because it did, because it didn't take place in the in Spiritberg, it didn't count it. I hunted that entire thing for so long just to get a freaking fox that didn't count towards the mission. I still got the, the money though, so I, I, I guess I should be happy with that. But yeah, I gotta say, I enjoyed today's episode a lot more than I did previously, for, especially because of this 4x4 wheel. Mm, it was so amazing. I gotta say, I'm gonna enjoy using this a lot more, especially because it's mine and it's all mine alone. Woo! It's gonna be gonna be fun. So yeah, guys, hope you guys have, have enjoyed. Uh, wait, someone is calling me. Are you forgetting something? Uh, well, what, do you, what do you mean? What am I forgetting? Ad. You said you would give me an ad so you could keep the 4x4 wheel. Wait, how did you know I was was the ad, mister? Oh, okay, 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 so, sorry, okay, so, uh, yeah, here, 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 here's the ad for, for you guys. Are you tired of walking around all day? Are your legs giving out because your destination is too far? Or do you just have bad knees? What? Introducing the newest and Sabre technologies, the ATV. It can cover any distance in a matter of minutes with its top speed of 50 kilometers or an hour, or 60 if you go downhill. This baby will take all the effort out of your exploration and make it nothing but a light joy ride. Did we mention it comes in three different colors? If you like to storm a bull, the red one is recommended. Black if you are looking to sneak around in the night, but good luck with the racket you'll be making. And Jade if you're just losing it. Where did I park? All of this for only 42 Rand. Because that's how much the DLC costs. Sounds like something you want to own? Then head on over to the website at www.idontknowthewebsite.com to place your order and we'll call you.
No, we won't. Because this isn't a real ad. There, I sent you the ad. Are, are you happy now? Yes, very, very happy. Although, what, what was that, that about this not being an ad? Being an ad? Oh, don't worry. We, we can talk about it later. Okay, so I, I get to keep the four-wheeler, right? Uh, yeah, I guess you do. But uh, still, what, what was that about? Okay, thank you. Bye. We did not mention the fact that I just sent him a fake ad, right? But anyways, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Consider hitting that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications if you want to see when, they, when my next video comes up. Click on one of the two videos on screen right now if you want to see more from me this very second. And I hope to see you guys when the next video comes out, where I am hopefully going to be enjoying my sweet, sweet little four-wheeler a little bit more. See you guys next time. Cheers!